Does it sound like a speaker? Kinda. I am your father. Oh my god. Now we can leave this city and strive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. This is a little bit different and a different change of scenery and this was not my original intro idea. You'll be seeing what we're doing up here in a few clips. However, I realized that when I started this vlog, I didn't do an intro, so this is it. First and foremost, I wanna say thank you so much to our sponsorship, which is Skillshare. And we love Skillshare, we've talked about Skillshare in the past. And let me tell you what I've recently learned through Skillshare that's helped me and our videos and our business. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members from over 150 different countries. Skillshare helps all sorts of different people feel their creative side by taking the next steps in their creative journey. Whether you're interested in videography like me, photography, painting, or cooking, Skillshare has a class for you. Here's a look into a few more classes that I've been enjoying. Any class that's about videography or how to be a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera is definitely a class that I want to join. Being able to watch these classes in full without any interruption from ads is an absolute game changer and allows me to really focus on what I'm trying to learn. I highly encourage you to try Skillshare and a huge thank you to Skillshare for providing that the first thousand people to use the link in my description or my code can't contain us will get one month free trial of Skillshare. If you're looking to get better in editing or cooking or just organizing your day-to-day -day life, I would definitely try Skillshare. Now let's get back to container content. The past couple of weeks we have done a ton of stuff throughout the house. It doesn't even look like a shipping container on the inside anymore. It actually looks like a home and oh, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to live here, y'all. It's actual paradise. We camped a couple nights and just being able to wake up in a somewhat finished area and drink coffee on the porch was the best feeling in the world. I can't wait to do it every single day. The fire marshal came out and gave us our final inspection and we passed, so we are so excited about that. In fire's eyes, we are passed and we can move in. Now we just have to wait for county sanitarian. As soon as we get the county sanitarian's approval, then we will be able to officially move in and not have any more permits and not have any more officials on our property, which is our end all be all goal. I'm gonna update y'all on the lagoon and then hop back into what we've been doing this week. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. Whenever you see this whole setup again, that's when we'll be doing our 25K giveaway. We're going to change it up a little bit and do two giveaways now. So you really want to stay tuned for that. But first, let me give you an update on the septic. So now that we're on the roof, you can get a way better picture of the lagoon. So here's where the tank is in the ground and it's buried already. The pipes go from the tank to the house and then are ran all the way out to the lagoon. It's at the right depth, slope, and everything. So all we have to do now is a clean out, a concrete slab on the bottom, and an overflow drain. Then we'll have to fence around it, and she'll be good to go. So once that's done, the county sanitarian will come out here, he'll approve it, and then we will officially be allowed to live in the house. So very, very close. Rain has finally subsided, so we're hoping he can get a lot more done back here. But yes, I'll see y'all very soon, but let's get caught up on what's been happening this week. It is a brand new, very gloomy day on the property. Hopefully that's gonna change. Hopefully the last gloomy day for a couple yes. weeks. It's supposed to rain a little bit today and then we should have like 70, 80 to 90 degree weather from here on out. We pretty much have all of our drywall up as y'all saw in the last video, minus this back wall. And then as you can see, there's a piece of ceiling here and then there's a small piece of ceiling in the bathroom. That's because he has to drill into the side of the container and add in like vents and things like that. So that's what he's going to be working on today. I'm gonna to be working on mudding and taping, which is a whole process, um, a very messy process. Let's get to it. Yep, yeah. all right. The first thing Cody's gonna do is cut out the hole for the vent in the bathroom. But he needs to cut it from the outside, so let's go outside. Can we just appreciate how green it is? You basically cannot see anything from the road anymore and you cannot see anybody else's property. I love it.
So I noticed with the fan running, I can feel air coming down from all the seams of where the metal meets together. So the fan's leaking in between the seams, so I'm just throwing this uh, foil tape on top of it. That's actually helping a lot. I can't really feel any grass coming down anymore where I sealed it. I just gotta finish this side now. Now he's going to cut what, baby? Dryer vent. Dryer vent. Well, recessed dryer vent hole. Which is that big old pan. It's freaking huge. I'm about to cut the hole in the drywall for the recessed vent, and then after I get that hole cut, we will cut the hole through the steel wall to be able to put in the actual outside vent part. <laughs> Now that he has his guide hole marked, he's going to cut the hole for the dryer vent. And then the last thing he needed to do was put the dryer hose in and now we can mud and tape this wall. So all done. The entire bathroom is completely drywalled and that is amazing. So now we need to tape the mud. So the other day Cody and I finished up all the drywall in our bedroom and he has done a little bit of taping just a couple pieces so i need to finish up the rest of this room so that's what i'm going to do while he is finishing cutting all these holes in the house let's gather some supplies and get to taping I'll do all these and get back to you. I got everything in here vacuumed and I am ready to tape in mud. I just got the mesh tape on and I like how it went on more than I do the paper, but we'll see after I finish mudding it if it holds, but I think it's going to work.
not half bad, but now I gotta do all the windows and the rest of the walls. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. So I got this entire window seal and corner of the room done. And now I'm going to work on the rest. Hi friends, it's the next day. Let me show you what I got done and let me show you what I'm doing. Got all of this window done. So now I need to work on this corner and then this whole back wall. And it's the weekend so we hope to get a whole lot done tonight and just hang out and have a fire and relax. So let's see what all we do. Cody's trying to make friends with the owl. I know it's kind of hard to see, but he's somewhere in that tree. I can see him, but by offering him, that's him talking to him, but by offering him lunch meat. <laughs> okay guys, well we are definitely guilty of doing more relaxing than working yesterday, so I did not get a lot done, but I'm gonna work on our closet today, so let's get to it. I'm literally covered in plaster, but I got her done. So we picked up metal corners and we did this side. I'll show you whenever we do the second side, but it took a lot of freaking mud. We figured we would change courses up a little bit. And what are you working on, babe? We're working on the range hood vent for the stove. Yes, so he is about to cut a hole in the container to account for proper ventilation. We're most likely gonna end up having gas for our stove, so obviously we need to be able to vent those fumes outside. Okay, so he broke his blade, but after a quick trip to Roll King, we are back. Back at it. Back at it. Maya's new favorite spot to hang out is on the stairs. Need a little bit of spray foam. But what can you do when you're trying to cut a circle and corrugation? <laughs> Now that he's got everything prepped, he can do the measurements and we can hang the drywall. Very exciting stuff. And if you're curious, we are using the Type-X drywall in the kitchen behind where the stove is gonna go.
she's finishing up the last of the blocking that will be for shelving, and then we can put this. Yes, this last piece of drywall in. What is this like? A, we're supposed to say something. Yeah. Like, uh, we've come this far. Go us. <laughs> We're just not those kind of people, but last piece of drywall. I'm too busy to be sentimental. We've gotten a lot of light rain lately and haven't really had to worry about any water at all coming into the house. With that being said, last night it was a torrential downpour and so that was able to show us the few spots that we did miss. The kitchen window and the dryer vent. I actually noticed there was a little bit of water coming in the dryer vent down on the side of the house. So uh, this right here is one of the main stacks for the venting for the plumbing. I have one of these rubber boots that are specifically made for corrugated metal roofs like this. So it was sitting on top and uh, the way I designed to have the pipes coming through the roof, it would be on a high side like this. So that way with this boot on, there's pretty much, a, it's pretty much impossible for any water to be able to get in the roof like that. But I did still want to go ahead and throw some spray foam on there to seal the air gaps from whenever we cut the hole in the roof because I remembered I hadn't done that yet. So. Now I'll throw a little bit of silicone around the bottom edge of this and I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to put any unnecessary holes in the roof for screws to hold it down and like I said the way it sits it keeps water out on its own so um, I think we're just going to leave it like that and see how it does. Okay the moment everybody has been waiting for. We wanted to do a 25k giveaway because we were so excited to finally hit that milestone and then we have surpassed that milestone and we're almost at 30K. I'm gonna be doing a 25K giveaway right now to commemorate you know, getting 25,000 subscribers. That's amazing, that's a huge accomplishment for us and we are so incredibly thankful to every single person that watches our channel and supports our journey and gets on Instagram and all the nice positive comments. We read them all. And then as soon as we hit 30,000 subscribers, which we're not that far from, we will be doing a whole nother giveaway as well. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. But let's get into the 25K giveaway because we are so excited that we were able to hit that milestone, which is so huge and we're blessed and we wanna be able to give back. So this is a LED parking lot light. It's 150 watts, 5,000 lumens. We use it on our sawmill over there. I'll put in a clip. Absolutely love it and we really want to be able to bless some guy or gal out there with it on top of that This thing went viral on TikTok. I think it went I think it got over 4 million views um, On one of our videos, but Cody loves it. It's a personal fan Has several speeds a USB-C charger, which we love very universal and then basically you clip it into your belt loop and then put your shirt in these little ties and then it gives you cold air all day it's awesome so that's the item that cody wanted to throw in i wanted to throw in my favorite tape measure and no you're not going to get this one i will get you your very own but i love this tape measure there's reasons why when you get it you will understand why best tape measure on earth so i had to throw it in and then just a few other sustainable living items here's one of them i'm waiting for a couple more to come into the mail and then we're also going to do some more like hometown postcard um st louis favorite snacks type of thing hi i'm editing and i totally forgot there's one more thing that's going to go in the giveaway so obviously all the items i showed you minus the box light um are things that we personally own you will get your own brand new stuff it's actually some of the things are actually in the mail and other stuff i'm still waiting on but You'll also get a Can't Contain This shirt. So here's Cody, here is mine, and then you'll be able to pick your own color size and all of that. But that is the other major thing that's going in the giveaway that I don't know how I forgot. 
I'm really excited about this giveaway. I know it's small, but we hope to be able to do more giveaways in the future. So yeah, tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me if you have any advice on things that you would wanna put in it, and then let's work hard to get to that 30K because I'm hoping it'll be even better. We're gonna keep entering this giveaway super simple, super easy. Basically, follow us on all social medias. That's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Facebook, if you don't have Facebook, I completely understand. Once you follow us on all social medias, make sure you comment in the comment section that you have done that, and then we will basically put it through a generator system and then verify that it's been followed on all the systems and that's how we'll pick a winner. YouTube description in the comments. I'll also post something on my Instagram and I also have something posted on my TikTok all talking about this giveaway, so you, sh you should be able to find the information somewhere on the internet. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. We read every comment. Um, some people's advice has actually helped us in a lot of ways, so we always appreciate that. But yeah. We're just really grateful. We wouldn't be here without y'all. TikTok really is what got us our start, and then our YouTube family has stuck around and been a constant support system. So without y'all, none of this would be happening, and we are just grateful. So. But it's time to go home and go to bed, so we will see you next week. See you next week. Stay.